Hey guys, it is me, Siri and Sorrow Imogy, and I'm here bringing another more bad fan fictions. However, this fanfic uh, is a collection of bad fanfics rather from like different things. There are some for like Percy Jackson, uh, Harry Potter, Once Upon a Time, and there's this other horrendous stuff um, on here, and it is all in a collection written by um, Ninja Girl 13 on Wattpad, and it's called Worst Fan Fictions on Wattpad. Um, and it's a collection of bad, these fan, bad fanfics that this person had found and just, yeah, reposted them. I will give you guys a link. But yeah, um, so today I'm gonna be reading, um, the worst Percy Jackson fan fiction on Wattpad. And, oh boy. This one's gonna get ugly. <laughs> Since I kind of read this one before, so beware, it's gonna get ugly. Today was not what I was expecting. The minute I woke up, I could tell it was going to be deadly, dangerous, and just plain awesome. <coughs> no! No, that is not possible! How could- how could things deadly be awesome? That's like saying that World War Two was, or World War One was deadly, but you thought it was awesome at the same time. That's like saying that. Like, no, 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 no. Don't even try. Don't even try, yo. Oh gosh, already starting off wrong already. Ugh. <laughs> Hello, my name is Luna Hunter. What the heck kind of name is that? <laughs> That sounds just, that sounds almost just as bad as um Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. Like my gosh. As I got ready, throwing on my camp t shirt and brushing my gorgeous gold hair. Gorgeous <laughs> Mary Sue, is this you? <laughs> Mary Sue. This is Mary Sue, ain't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> I stared at my unnatural silver eyes, which gleamed against my flawless pale skin and contrasted with my amazing freckles. <coughs> oh god, oh this is bad! Oh god! Girl, what are you on? My gosh! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. As I, okay, I put my hands on my size zero waist, size zero, <laughs> okay, I guess, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, are you, are you on the road to anorexia or something, I, I don't know, Putting down the brush and sizing myself up. I wondered when when I had an insulted um <laughs> Aphrodite. Aphrodite, because I looked like a bunch of trash. Not even close, but good try. <laughs> um No wonder I have no uses except cooking, fighting, drawing, music, pranking, singing, reading, being smart, cleaning cabins, designing fashion, and rock climbing. That's a lot of uses, actually, so, I mean, you try, girl, you tried. The worst part is, I'm a daughter of a Termis. Yes, the maiden goddess. <sighs> this girl thinks that, her, that she's living a terrible life. No, girl, you live in the fun life, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the level of bad I've never seen before. <laughs> I should have never been bored, but yet I'm here with everything and everyone in the godly universe out to kill me. Okay, then. I was also blessed by all the gods, so I was super powerful. <coughs> oh! Oh, God! Oh! No, <laughs> you see, this is the Mary. This is the this is the Mary Sue. This is Mary Sue here, cause she's overpowered, super gorgeous, 
Ah! <laughs> I can control all the elements. Oh, so just earth. Okay, so you got wind, fire, water, and and uh, earth. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yo. <laughs> um. Um. Turn invisible. Have telekinesis. Um, how, we've seen telekinesis in, like, some horror stuff, some horror stories as well. But you've seen where the girl, you know, you've seen that with, uh, the movie Carrie, and then you've seen it happen with this girl, um, when she was going against, uh, Freddy Kr I mean, not, not Freddy Krueger, um, uh, Jason Voorhees in that. I think it was, uh, in, in The New Blood or something. Yep, um, read minds, control electricity, and turn into a Swiss, into a Swiss army knife at will. What? <laughs> what the hell did I just read? <laughs> Luna! A voice called knocking on my cabin door. It was my friend, Tammy. She's a daughter of Hectate and Hades, but she was made into a demigod. She's also blessed by all the gods. Okay, then, okay. Since everyone at camp ignores us, we aren't the most popular people. So we hang out. Oh, so super gorgeous. So Mary Sue here apparently isn't popular. Let that sink in for a moment. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. I threw the- I threw the- open the door. Stop door abuse! <laughs> Ready for a normal old day at camp. I linked arms with her. Normal day, quote unquote. What? I don't- what's the normal- what in the world is a normal day at, at camp? Half <laughs> blood. Ready! We walked into breakfast in our camp t-shirts. In our camp shirts, whatever. I heard a couple- Hey, Luna. Hey, Tammies. But I'm sure it was in my head. Oh, okay. No one talks to, to use here. BTW, we are allowed to sit wherever we want. What? <laughs> Percy is kind of cute, Tammy whispered. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Percy is kind of cute. Oh, are you talking about like, um, I hope you're talking about whoever that guy was that played Percy in Lightning Thief. Because <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> and not the Sea of Monsters, where I think that one didn't do as well as, like, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Annabeth, the smartest girl, and Percy's girlfriend are gla was glaring at us. Grammar? Okay. One, grammar is wrong. Two, Annabeth ain't Percy's girlfriend. And three, where the hell is Grover? Why would you say that? He's taking dumb dumb. I joked, choking down on my breakfast. Because apparently you can't. Because, <laughs> uh, well, apparently, I guess you can't swallow food with a size zero waist. Yikes. Because <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god, stop it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I sit here? Annabeth asked, glaring at us with the like the jealous girlfriend she always is. No! Stop it! No! <laughs> I thought you you were sitting with Percy, I asked, kicking Tammy under the table. He was dying his food blue and talking about finding Nemo and bubble gumpies again. Oh, uh, no, what is this? 
this? What is this? I don't understand anymore. <laughs> ah, yeah, Annabeth smiled for a minute and rolled her eyes. Seaweed brain. Piper popped up from under the table, screaming at the top of her lungs. Persepet! <laughs> oh god, the wrong ship name. We're doing the ships. <laughs> oh my god, what the ship names? <laughs> Y'all, Addy, y'all, y'all wildin'. <laughs> Jesus. My gosh, yo. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> then she proceeded to run around to run around camp screaming. Totally normal for her to fangirl like that. She has an entire rainbow iPad. A what? A rainbow iPad. Even I haven't seen such a thing. Where she has fo where she has files on all the couple she's ships. <coughs> oh god, good lord. <coughs> A shadow opened and out popped Nico Dil uh, D'Angelo. Angelo. Angelo. Whatever. Sounds like Michelangelo. Whatever. I haven't heard about him. He's a son of Hayes and Tammy's brother. I've never met him though. Hey, Luna. Hey, Tammy. He waved to us and sat down next to me. I have an endless crush on him. Oh, God, no. Don't do this. Hey, Nico. Annabeth waved. She smirked and left. <laughs> you know, I think I hear someone calling me, Tammy said, and then she too left. Luna, I need to tell you something, Nico said quietly. I turned to face him. What? Then he kissed me. I like you. I like you too. <coughs> Oh, 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 I'm very... <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> oh, God. No, no. No, stop it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. To the no, 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 do the hell no. To the no, 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 no. Hell no. To the no, no, no. <laughs> this is how horrendous the story is. <laughs> oh, God. Monster attack action at the borders! A random voice screamed. Nico, Tammy, and I turned in shock and then brought out our weapons. Mine is a silvery bow that has an infinite number of arrows that can never miss its target. Convenience at its finest! <laughs> Plus, it can't break, it can't burn, and a whole bunch of other features I forgot. It's called Star. <coughs> oh god! <coughs> Will you not? Oh. And you name your bow. How? Where do you name your star? You name your bow. You named your bow star. <laughs> oh gosh. I shot down a bunch of hellhounds that somehow crossed, up, crossed the border. While Nico slashed through a wave of hydras. I saw a silvery woman who called me forward. It was my mother, Atermis. Luna, you would go on a quest with the Seven and Tammy. But what will I need to go on a quest for? <laughs> you just need to go on a quest because it's a typical part of fan fiction, you ungrateful young lady. <laughs> oh, oh Atermis, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> A fan of what? Someone muttered. Everyone shrugged. I accept. Then I blacked out. Why are you blacking out all the time? This is what happens with these Mary Sue's. They always black out at some instant. 
When I woke up, I was soaking wet. Oh god, did you fall into the river or something? Percy had dumped some water onto me from the lake. Percy, you ungrateful! Percy! Unkind of you, dude. Annie! What? <laughs> this sounds like something that Padme would show to Anakin. Call him Annie! <laughs> no! <laughs> Annie! Wow! Can you guys imagine that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I want my cookie now. <laughs> Annabeth scrambled to get out a, a blue cookie and a juice box and handed it to Percy. They make Percy look like an absolute child. I mean, of course, he may be a little immature, but not this immature. My gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> Suddenly, I was magically dry, and we all skipped away from the dining pavilion. How do you dry that quickly? You need towels, and it's going to take you a while to dry, okay? <sighs> I was so excited to go on a quest with the Suffin, Tammy, Nico, and Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder! <laughs> when did Bob the Builder get inserted into this blasphemy? <laughs> Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! <laughs> when the hell did Bob the Builder get into this? Like, how the heck did he get in? Oh my god. <laughs> Even though only three should go on a quest. My stuff is packed! We all happily said marching up Half Blood Hill. Somehow, Thalia was there too, even though she was with the hunters a second ago. Wait, Annabeth said, picking her fingernails with her knife. How are we going to get there? The group offered no help. Percy was running around chasing blue butterflies. Oh, God. <laughs> Jason was being how he, how he, his, as emotionless as a brick. I thought it, I thought it, right. I thought, I almost read it as emotionless as a dick. Yikes. <laughs> and Piper was frantically typing up new Franzel fanfiction. Speaking of Franzel, Hazel was playing with gems. Frank turned into a dog and stuck hold into Hazel's lap. And Tammy and Leo were making out. Oh my god, right in front of you! <laughs> Not that that phased me. I, uh... I meant they met ten seconds ago, so that's totally acceptable for kissing. No, no, that doesn't work. Okay, there's a. Do you see? That's one of the main reasons why I hated the movie Frozen. I hated that movie because the way how the love, true love, and thing, it does not work like that. I got so annoyed with that kind of stuff. It's like no romance does not work like that. <laughs> yeah, Disney with its false realities on romance. Oh gosh. <laughs> Nico was crying on the floor about how broken he was. What the hell? Thalia was shooting stuff. Yep, totally normal. Atermus appeared again. Haha, -ha, so I, I like totally forgot to give you, give you supplies of transportation. Oh, well, here's a bunch of unicorns. Luna get the, gets the rainbow one named Butterscotch. <laughs> what? With Luna? Getting all these random things that and then name them. What? <coughs> what the heck? No. Oh, and here are some awesome gifts. Backpacks that never run out of what you need. Wow, what is this? <laughs> a laptop, a car, a car. How does a bat? How does a unicorn get a car? You might as well just be better off driving if that's what you're going to. You might as well not need unicorns. Shoes, a pool noodle, 
and a bunch of other stuff, lol. You d she doesn't say lol, okay? Oh, and Nico, I totally approve of you going out with my daughter. Haha, -ha, lol. Talk to you later. Bye! That she sounded like a black girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then she disappeared into a pile of stairs. Of stars, excuse me. Because I, <laughs> the story has rubbed on me so much. Seconds later, tons of presents fell from the sky, crushing me. But yeah, no, I jumped out without any problem. Because I'm an immortal ninja like that. Oh my gosh. Wait, you're a ninja too? What did ninjas get into this? Oh my god. We unwrapped the presents and uh, them being the unlimited backpacks, a fireproof saddle for Leo, and a locket for Tammy. I looked down sadly. My mom hated me. Why? Soon we got on our pet. Uh, Pega, I mean unicorns, and Frank, Hazel, Bob the Builder, and Jason all disappeared because they're not important. Come on, Butterscotch! I yelled as we set off to start on our quest. Suddenly, a girl with an eye patch rose from the clouds on a bright blue dragon. Percy tried to walk towards it but fell off his unicorn, plummeting to the ground. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't know, you just fall down. You fall down to the place like that, okay? You get flow you fall to the place like that. Wow, Percy. <coughs> I guess you really are bad at keeping your balance. And that unsurprisingly immature, okay? At least that's what this fanfiction is trying to tell me. <laughs> Annabeth screamed and there was nothing we could do because Jason had disappeared from the story. Oh, into oblivion. <laughs> Who are you? Nico asked, standing up and taking his sword out to protect me. I have such an amazing boyfriend. Oh, gosh. My name is Meg, the, girl's, the girl with the eye patch said. She narrowed her eyes at me and pulled out a bronze bow. And for some reason, I really hate you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Who? Me? I asked, taking out my own bow. She nodded and shot me in the heart. Everyone gasped and I pulled the arrow out and the wound instantly healed because again, I'm a freaking immortal ninja like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Can you not? I shot a couple of arrows and she dodged them. Oh girl, she dodging them arrows like, ooh! <laughs> Okay, how we're doing all this on the back of unicorns, I have no idea. You're so ugly, Meg screamed, and I dropped my bow and sobbed at Nico's shoulder. Because it was true. Nothing seemed to kill this lady, or me. I had at least a dozen arrows stricking, sticking out, but no blood, because blood is gross. What the heck? Then Tammy stabbed Meg from behind, and she died. Oh, Tammy! What? <laughs> Then Leo and Tammy had an epic kissing session as Nico made out with me. Eek! Eek! <laughs> then we all rode off into the sunset on our Pegasi. Wait, where are we even going? Piper asked, fangirling about Tammy and Leo. Annabeth was still sobbing over Percy. What the hell? I have no idea, Leo replied. Hey, do you want to go out on a date with Tammy? Tammy nodded. They started to they started kissing again. Oh gosh, what's this romance? Maybe we need to follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nico, Nico supplied. Supplied? You supplied? Are you kidding me? We all stared at him like he was crazy. Then he started bawling about how we don't understand him. My poor baby. To McDonald's? I asked him. <laughs> They shrugged. McDonald's! McDonald's! Girl! <coughs> McDonald's is actually disgusting. Most of their food is horrendous. And not to mention that, like, they're, like, a lot of the stuff there, except for the chicken nuggets and the fries, maybe something else, which I might be forgetting. But most of the other stuff all have, like, sugars. Even the salad. Mostly because the, because the salad dressing. 
But oh my god, no! <coughs> Two McDonald's! Was our battle cry. But soon there was blood curdling scream and Pi Piper was eaten by Meg's dragon. I shot the dragon in the eye and he promptly died. Annabeth stopped crying and turned to me. This is all your fault! Y you murdered them! I'm sorry. Fine, I forgive you. I still hate you though, cause that's the kind- Cause that's the kind of edgy person I am. What the hell? Now we were headed to McDonald's! When we touched down, we all ordered burgers and fries that sat together! Oh no, we're gonna get obesity and diabetes! Diabetes! <laughs> or high blood pressure, you're gonna get high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes. A Wilfred Brentley and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. <laughs> McDonald's! <laughs> oh god! <coughs> oh god. Suddenly Percy stumbled into the cafe, bloody and holding Riptide. I could tell from the look in his eyes. He was broken. He probably needs a healer, bruh! And any <coughs> He coughed. Suddenly his sea green eyes became a gold color and he swung riptide at us. What the heck? We dodged and the blade him and the blade bit into the table. He continued attacking us without the mortals noticing. How? Like if you see something that's like eating the table and attacking the kids that had ordered their food. I would probably be- I would probably be suspicious. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh my god. I ran to the back and he vaulted over a table to get me, holding the blade against my throat. End of the blind, he hissed. Then there was a loud clunk sound and Percy's eyes rolled up into to his head and he was knocked out cold. Annabeth stood over him with the plastic tray she used to knock him out. Not my friend, she screamed at her boyfriend. Oh my god! I screamed. Thank you for that! There's something I want to tell you, Percy said. The tray had taken away whatever the glowing eye thing was. You're my sister. What? What? <laughs> what is this blood twist? <laughs> what the heck is this? No! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what? Oh god! <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Honestly, that that was a horrendous plot twist, okay? And one of the best ones was Darth Vader being Luke's father. This, though, out of any bad plot twist, this one is probably just the icing on the cake. Wow. <laughs> then he closed his eyes and died. For the second time, I was shocked. Percy... Was my brother? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> this was- this is bad! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I have never written- <laughs> Gosh. We decided not to stay at McDonald's much longer and headed out to continue our quest. We figured that our quest was to stop Chaos and his army, lead, led by someone named Omega Wave Triton One. What a what a crack what a crack cra name! What? <laughs> Suddenly, a uh, cry cry. Uh, what a cry cry name! Oh, it's cry cry. Suddenly, Annabeth was sucked into the glowing portal, which appeared out of nowhere and didn't suck anything in except Annabeth. No! Piper cried, even though I was pretty sure I had seen her being eaten by a dragon an hour ago. We shrugged to continue on, while Piper desperately tried to update her Persabeth fanfics. Fanfictions. What the hell? Wait! I stopped, making all the group bump into me in a domino effect. I remembered! I have a GPS tracker on my laptop! I pulled my monster-proof, unlimited, high-speed, wide, 
Wi-Fi laptop out of my backpack as well as a cupcake to munch on. Diabetes. <laughs> nom nom nom. Here. I cried, pointing to the little dot in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is where Percy and Annabeth are. Everyone triumphantly got on their unicorns as we rode towards the island, not bothering to think how stalkerish it was that I could track Percy and Beth. That's actually borderline creepy. But alright, you're trying to rescue them. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because that totally didn't sound as weird as like, I remember that one episode of iCarly when, um, when, uh, I know, uh, Carly and Freddy were trying to locate Sam, and they found her at, um, the mental hospital. Yep. <laughs> okay. When we got to the island, Leo let out a strangled gasp. There was someone we never, we never thought we would see again. Collapsebo. Leo! She smiled brightly, pr rushing to hug him. You came back! Tammy shouted, uh, traveled over her and stood between Callie and her boyfriend. Not on my watch, sister! <laughs> Callie's bow frowned. You, you're dating someone else? Then she proceeded to go on a murderer's rampage. Even though we came to help, she stabbed Leo in the gut with a knife. He collapsed, dying. Hey! A new voice called. A guy with silver and blue armor and a, and a hood pulled over his, head, over his face stepped out. A glowing bronze sword that looked an awful lot like Riptide straighted to his side. He threw the sword, which went through, which went through Kelly's bow, and she disappeared into dust. Even though I was pretty sure he, she was an immortal goddess. Who are you? Nico asked. Commander Wave Hurricane Omega Trident. He replied. I thought it was Omega Wave Trident One. Tammy whispered. Lieutenant Owl Feather Wave Hurricane Omega Trident slash Omega Wave Trident One called. They whipped off their masks to reveal Percy and Annabeth. Guys, I cried. Percy Beth, as Piper screamed. We'd like to introduce to you to our latest to our latest recruits. Percy replied, making way for the five guys. This is Carrot Curly Tattoos. I forgot, and someone else. Carrot Curly and Tattoos. Tattoos. Wait. What? <laughs> Those are some really awkward names. They whipped off their masks, and I couldn't believe their eyes. What direction? We're demigods! No! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> no! This is bad! <laughs> no! Oh! The god! No! God! No! God! No! Oh, no! 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 I did not ask for nobody signed up for. <laughs> Nobody signed up for this. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how much more it can take, but they gotta finish with it. <laughs> <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is worse than Percy being Luna's si than Percy being Luna's brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to- <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh. <coughs> wow, <laughs> that was terrible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, the next part I will be reading <laughs> is worst Harry Potter fanfiction on Wattpad. And much to my surprise, it's not my immortal in this story, but in this, it is a different fan fiction. So, yeah. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!